London. Home to Queen Elizabeth. As well as the reigning king of banking, the ATM. Born in Britain in 1967, Barclays Bank called the very first ATM a cash machine. The unveiling drew a crowd worthy of a royal birth. By today's standards, the first ATM is primitive. Still, this beast changed banking forever. Now, almost 50 years later, another shift is in the works. Meet the ATM of the future. Just don't call it an ATM. ITM for Interactive Teller Machine. Why the name change? Because this automated teller is truly changing the face of banking. Welcome to Grow Financial. How can I help you today? Yes, tomorrow's ATMs include a live human All right. to help. Personal service has kind of disappeared in this country. This is kind of bringing it back. When I give it a try... I've got my card. I'm surprised to learn you don't need your ATM card. With this machine, all you need is your account number and ID. I'm also surprised to learn Miguel's not here at the branch. He's 20 miles away at the home office, tucked inside what's labeled as a library. There was a library at one point, and then it turned into what's now the interactive video team's room. And here... Welcome to Grow. How can I help you? Interactive tellers in one small room power multiple machines in multiple branches via video link. We're the face behind the screen. Miguel shows us his setup. It establishes a connection. He sees me, and I see him because his computer screen's projected in front of a webcam. At all times, we're seeing the member. Thanks to the internet, tellers in your neighborhood today could be anywhere tomorrow. It could be in, in Denver, Los Angeles, wherever. A check deposit? Absolutely. This new high-tech operation is among the first in the country and the only one in Florida. It's actually quite exciting to, you know, be part of the team, I guess, to pioneer this in Florida and actually kind of make it our own and kind of shape what this is going to be for banking in the future. Glad you enjoyed the experience. For the moment, this kind of technology is a novelty, but there are more on the way. You will see more and more of this. Banks are pulling a page from the airport. Airlines have cut lines and cut costs using self-serve kiosks. Zip, 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 and I get my boarding pass. Banks are now joining them with the ITM. This really is no different other than we've got a really nice person that is going to come up in the screen that is going to deal with you personally. In addition to replacing outdated ATMs, expect to see ITMs in drive throughs Fisher figures banks will save money. And when that happens at a credit union like Grow Financial, savers and borrowers win. Pass those savings onto the members, you know, through better deposit rates, better loan rates. And that's what this is all about. When it debuted in 1967, the ATM made history. Fisher is sure the ITM will catch on too, though he's not sure the ITM name will stick. I think people will probably still call it an ATM machine. I mean, that's been around forever. Chris Kamara. It was nice to see you. Fox 13 News.